that's the set for today uh yeah so i got my hair done today right um actually i dyed it myself it's usually brown um darker but i dyed it and it ended up dyeing it black like temporary black and it, it has such a beautiful color now reason why i'm saying that i was talking on my instagram close friends uh, about how once upon a time my mentor had uh, you know i work in football i uh, execute games in jamaica you know everything sponsor related i manage so he comes my mentor my boss the chairman of the entity and he comes to the game unexpectedly he doesn't come to our games but he comes to this one and he comes with his friends he comes with his friends that were there and i was at the entrance just doing my thing and this specific day i didn't wear anything at this time it was early on in my time at my job and i would have was just there working game just starting game has just been kicked off and he walks past me and when I, when I say walk past me, I don't mean, you know, when people hail it like that, not, there, there was none of that. He walked past me, like, not like he saw a ghost. He walked past me like he didn't know me. Like, he walked past me like I was no one. And I'm telling you, that gutted me a little. Because I was like, you know when you peep someone and you're just like, this didn't just happen. The man walked past me. Anyway, as as they're kind of just like, okay, cool. Maybe he's with his friends, so he doesn't want to, you know. I don't know, actually. <laughs> so I get a WhatsApp now message. He says, Avery, you cannot come here looking like this. I'm telling you, I never wear anything, anything out of the, like, super bad, super good, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't a thong alone. I was into my birthday suit. I was wearing a top and a, a shorts and Crocs. Well, <laughs> now that I'm saying this, I mean, I already, I already understood the point. So just hear me out. Just hear me out. Let me not even get into that. So, I... I got that message and I was just like, okay, shame tree, shame tree shake up. Cause I was like, Ugh. what I was overthinking in my head was kind of worse than I thought. And ever since then, silver lining is that he wasn't saying it for my detriment, of course, but my gosh, man, I'm the only girl on my team. So imagine one, one of any of the guys styling me. And I think I look fine because I wouldn't leave my house thinking I look, you know. So anyway, the lesson is that it's coming up. Sorry. I don't know if you're a Gemini that has ADHD, but I, I, I operate like that in telling stories. So I'm so sorry if my storytelling is trash. Anyway, so... Yeah, so I was on, I was on, you know, when you're using your phone and something you just talk about just obviously pop up or something, somebody talking about it. It just, it's almost like the red car theory. I don't know if it, that, that is an actual theory, but if it's not an actual theory, the red car theory to me is when something pops up in your life and then all of a sudden you start seeing it around you. So if it is a theory, if it's, if it's called something else, tell me in the comments but i'm my kittens i'm sorry but my fbi agent watching me mm -hmm. don't like that good night okay I'm better so so i started seeing content on on social media talking about 
how you carry yourself, presentation is key, blah, 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 blah. You would think that a lot of these things are cliches, right? Right? <laughs> and I started consuming that content essentially. And one paycheck came. And remember, say it's early. I don't season and not experience anything as only girl and team. Very important variables, okay? Come on, the team. I decided I can spend some some ras money this 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 month for myself. Mind you, all the clothes that I have in my life up until this point was bought by somebody else. You know, you know, because you come into your parents' house or you're staying in your parents' house, and they basically just supply you with stuff that you need, like clothes, food, and and water. Yeah. So all of those up until this point, I get in my jars. One sec. All the clothes up until this point were bought by family and friends. At Christmas time for birthday, when somebody come to Jamaica just to visit. Yeah. It hand me downs. Can't forget the hand me downs. Right? So So that's where my clothes came from. This month I said, yo, we're going to go and shop. So I started cheap. I was just telling people my close friends. I started cheap, like she in. Okay? Sh say with me. She in so i went on chain and uh, by the way jars label jars candle candle hey guys happy new year so today i'm packing a wedding order um i really enjoy doing wedding orders even though the amount is so intimidating i'm doing a hundred for this specific wedding tonight i'm unpacking jars um i've started some already i have multiple scents in this order um and custom labeling is supposed to have some flowers and a beautiful touch to the end so that's the story i was saying that as real as it gets I was saying that I went and I went on Shein to buy clothes and I put everything else I wanted in my cart that makes sense. I bought things that I could wear multiple times, wear in multiple way, multiple ways. I bought two heels. I remember the two heels. I bought, and they were both black because I was just like, I'm not getting on colored heels and you know, blah, blah, blah. So then now, boom, first outfit. The reception was great, guys. And because I work in sponsorship, you know, presentation pitching you know meeting people networking is all about that's what it's all about that's how you win right so i'm saying cool beans this is actually more than what i think it is and that message that he sent me even though it offended me there was a silver lining it helped me pushed me so i'm telling you now you see if you are aligning yourself with any entity there no, there's nothing new on this one so don't come try you know revolutionize things from the get-go feel out the area whether you are creative whether you are a corporate body man or woman whether you're a teacher look at the history of styles dress all sorts of stuff look at it it's because for example a tattoo artist a typical, and I want to say typical and even and not typical graphic um tattoo artist dresses a certain way. Find how you want to fit into that category of people. You love to fit in as in wear exactly what they're wearing. But but there's a reason why people wear certain stuff. You get me? So it's like a way of expressing themselves, I would say. And, and 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 telling a story or or telling a story or giving a bio on who they are as a person so i employ this in my life by the heels and i realized okay you're gonna make some mistakes you're gonna feel things pablo you're gonna feel things you're not gonna feel things some things are gonna be like ah oh. Right, and you're going to tweak your, your closet. Don't don't try to do it one time, you know, because that's unrealistic. But but tweak things until you get to this 
place where you just have a capsule or a closet just filled with this type of clothes that embodies who you are and it will change from time to time so i started realizing that heels weren't for me right i can wear heels i can wear heels but heels weren't for me at that job i work in football i need some cool ass sneaks right so i opted for right now my neck my my i got i got some stan smith's adidas i have some gazelles adidas i had some nike heat shoes i just gave away because they were you know i just did this time um i did a nike dunks panda version um you get what i'm saying right so i i dived into sneakers not even too long ago and i was just like okay i'm feeling this and then you create looks around these things you look at how these things have been worn how you want to wear them like it, it started to just not become like a task it was it wasn't really much of a task but it it started it stopped feeling like oh it was my obligation to do this because my mentor someone i look up to my chairman my boss told me and styled me this is me under in private so it became it became more like wow your girl start feeling herself that's exactly what happened start feeling herself i cut my hair off at that time my hair wasn't short i cut my hair off eventually and now as i started the video to tell you that i went to the hairdresser today and now i have a face-to-face -face meeting tomorrow do you think I was going to go with my hair looking the way it was looking? No, I wasn't going to do that. So I implore you guys, whether you're a man, especially men, like I just feel like you guys get away with a lot. Go to the barber or go to the hairdresser and style the hair and have, have these wonderful, beautiful ladies wash your hair and, and style it. Like, you know, so it's it, it started to become fun. Like now it's fun for me. I got my hair done today. I feel really confident. I feel really happy you know um sorry cats <laughs> yeah i started feeling confident you know and and i really i really just like what that had done for me and god no and I, I probably needed that so in case just to prevent you who's watching from feeling the way i felt i'm gonna just put it out there hopefully it inspires you um to just invest in you because right now right now my thing is self-care when i say self-care i mean my skin like how my heel back look like a man i don't know that i concern about how my heel back look or that's just a thing mm -hmm. i'm concerned with my heel back like i don't want people to look at my heel back like you ever go to some and see some people heel, heel back you know mm -hmm. so I start giving myself pedicures i now do my own hands as well guys you don't have to up to this way but this is my way because i'm not spending spending the money i know these people are spending to do certain things that i can do for myself so i do my own nails my toes are exactly this just on my toes my hair and i just feel well like all of, for me to do is put on some bathe scrub down smell good put together a nice combination of pieces together and i just feel like you win already like presentation is key when people say presentation you, you ever eat like for me i eat with my eyes as well okay you ever just see some types of food that you've never tasted before and you just don't want to even try or you don't even want to bother try you know you know so while people say don't judge a book by its cover a lot of people do it anyway and i just feel like i needed to pass this message on so if you love this video just leave a like um i would love to hear you guys comment like what's your you know adult thing that you learned and changed about how you looked at it tell me tell me about it like i'd love to have a discussion and follow me on instagram at avz campbell i would love to you know share content with you guys via that means and thanks for watching bye